Duct tape, galaxy, bow ties. You guys asked for more duct tape projects, and here we are with galaxy duct tape. Feeling pretty dapper today. Dapper. I still need this. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a fun galaxy duct tape bow tie. If you're not interested in making the bow tie, I'm gonna show you the same technique to turn your bow tie into a headband. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a cutting mat, galaxy duct tape, silver duct tape, Velcro, an X-Acto blade, scissors, and a hairband if you decide to make a hairband. First, you're gonna take your galaxy duct tape and pull out about 16 and a half inches worth of duct tape. Take your 16 and a half inch piece of duct tape and you're going to fold it in half. It's actually gonna be a little off since you wanna save a little bit on the side that's not folded in half with the other side of the duct tape. Make sure you fold this as carefully as you can so you don't have any sticky edges on your bow tie. If you have any sticky edges from the fold of your duct tape, use a pair of scissors to trim the sticky parts off. Next, you're gonna connect the two ends of your duct tape so that they create your bow tie. Align the fold of your duct tape, the center of your cuff, and fold it down and lightly press down on the edges. Use a smaller piece of duct tape to hold this in place. To shape your bow tie, you're gonna use your X-Acto blade to cut a curve on the edge of your bow tie. Carefully cut the edge and repeat it on both sides. After you've curved the edges of your bow tie, set this piece aside. Next, take your Galaxy duct tape and you're going to create the collar of your bow tie. Depending on the thickness of your neck, you might have to use anywhere between 10 to 20 inches of tape. Pull this apart and set it on your cutting mat. Depending on the thickness of your neck, you might need to use multiple pieces of tape to create your collar. Take your tape and you're gonna fold it into thirds. Start from the outside, fold it in, and you wanna fold it so that it is about three fourths of an inch uh, wide. Take the other side and fold it inward. To add length to your collar piece, just take an additional piece of tape, take your collar, and then just place it in the center of your piece of tape. Use your already existing collar to create as a template to fold it in. Find the center of your collar, and like you did with your bow tie piece, you're going to create a light curve on the edge of your collar. Take your silver duct tape and measure out about two to three inches worth of duct tape. Depending on how thick you want the centerpiece of your bow tie to be, cut your silver duct tape either in thirds or in half. Take your bow tie and you're going to start to pinch it to create and shape your bow tie. Depending on how you pinch it, I usually like to do two pinches pointing out so that the bow tie creates this little uh, dimple on each side. Take your silver duct tape and then start to put it in the center to hold it in place. After you've created the bow for your bow tie, take the collar piece and you're just gonna attach it to the back and make sure that the folded part is on the inside of your collar and not on the outside. Fold this in and tape it together. Depending on your own measurements, you wanna take the collar of your bow tie and measure it so that it fits to your own size. Once you have your measurements, take the extra pieces off of your collar and you wanna have about an inch to two inches worth of overlap. Attach a piece of Velcro to the ends and you can use that to attach it onto your neck for your bow tie. 
To turn your bow tie into a headband, all you have to do is take your bow and instead of attaching it onto a collar, you just take a piece of your silver tape and attach it onto your headband. Wrap it around like you would on your collar and you've turned your bow tie bow into a headband bow. After you've attached your bow either onto your collar or onto your headband, you are ready to go ahead and wear it to whatever event you need to wear your bow tie or headband to. The great thing about this project is you could customize it any way that will either reflect your personality or will reflect the type of event that you're gonna go to. I used my mac and cheese and my gummy bear duct tapes and I made two other bow ties that are gummy bear and duct tape. As a cool special little thank you to you guys for being awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and give these little um, bow ties away. All you have to do to win one, either one of these bow ties or th this headband is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the section below which bow tie you wanna win and what your favorite Get Crafty Crafty video has been in the entirety of Get Crafty Crafty. If you're under 18, make sure you ask the permission of a parent or an adult before you enter this little giveaway. And I'm gonna choose a winner in about a week or so, and I'm gonna announce who those winners are on a future video. I'm giving away the gummy bear, the mac and cheese, two galaxies, and one galaxy headband. If you guys make this project, make sure you share it either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag and check out our last two videos. And yeah, good luck on the fun little giveaway and hopefully you guys enjoyed this project. See you guys next time and take care.